Ever since the attack on your unit nine years ago, the name Big Boss has become known the world over. What do you mean? Those of your men who survived traveled far and wide. They fought throughout the world. In fact, they're part of the reason we have all these PFs now. Every one of them suffered their own phantom pain from losing you. Talking about you wherever they went helped to heal their wounds. Your actions and words, your legend, has been told on every battlefield they've set foot on. Obviously, as the tales have spread, the truth's been distorted, painted over. Big Boss sacrificed himself to show us the threat that Cypher poses. He sounded a warning, so it goes. A warning? Too much power destroys the hands that hold it. Apparently, you chose to be a living example of that. I never said any of that. The moment any truth is passed on, it starts turning into fiction. The problem is, fiction inspires people more than facts. To the world, you're now the legendary mercenary Big Boss. The lessons you've taught the PFs are the reason they're so widespread. They're the reason they've survived. And you know what they all aspire to? To one day go nuclear, just like you did, and stand up to Cypher. Of all the stupid things you could do, they'll never understand what you really wanted. Heroes are misunderstood. It takes a man of the same caliber to understand what drives them. Bottom line is, these guys want to be like their hero, Big Boss. And deep down, they all have their eyes on nuclear weapons. They say that a nuke is the only means of standing against Cypher. But these days, it's becoming little more than a slogan to rally the troops and survive in a cutthroat business. Currently, there are three major PFs who've expanded into Central Africa. CFA, Rogue Coyote, and Zero Risk Security. HEC's investigations have shown there's almost no overlap between their areas of operation. It's not so much a turf war, more like they have a gentleman's agreement. If you do cross paths with them, you probably won't have to face more than one at a time. Still, don't expect a walk in the park. The CFA, Contract Forces of Africa. These guys are a major player. Their head office is in Pretoria, South Africa. That's also where the South African Defense Force is headquartered. We think the two are closely connected. An HEC investigation revealed that most of the CFA's operators are former SADF soldiers. South Africa has been locked in struggles with neighboring regimes for years. That means constant action. And we know better than anyone that's the best kind of training. A company drawing its recruits from hardened military vets. You can bet they know how to handle themselves. Do not underestimate them. Within the CFA is a company of soldiers made up mainly of locally hired operators. They speak Afrikaans to communicate with personnel from the CFA. But if you notice any speaking the local language, that's them. Though hired from the local population, they were originally part of a paramilitary group, so they'll have plenty of combat experience. And unlike their days shooting junkyard rifles out of beat-up pickup trucks, the CFA now supplies them with the latest gear from the West. On top of that, they've been combat trained by the South African Army. All that adds up to a much stronger fighting force. So don't brush them off. Look at the Angola-Zaire border region. The east bank of the Muneni River, in particular. It's a microcosm of a problem that stretches all across Africa. There's a civil war going on in Angola, fought between the government MPLA and the Western-backed Unida. Zaire is still a dictatorship under President Mobutu, but numerous uprisings have broken out in its remote regions. With all the trouble elsewhere keeping their hands full, neither government has control over their side of the border. They depend on militias and PFs, as do the rebels. Government forces, guerrillas, militants, Groups of all shapes and sizes hawk whatever resources they can to hire PFs. Conflict brings PFs. PFs expand the war zone, and more conflicts erupt in a continuous chain reaction. <laughs> Sounds like our kind of work. Mother base could grow by leaps and bounds. <laughs>